lately I've been going out and looking for some new fishing spots. You know, there's a lot of anglers that don't mind going out and casting shoulder to shoulder from a bridge, uh, but many of us like to get out and wander the streams and the creeks by ourselves and kind of look for our own fish. The first step is to find a potentially productive area or stream where you want to fish. You know, there's a big problem here in Maryland because it's so hard to find public access. There's not that much public land, and when there is public land, it's not always easy to get to it. I like to start with a good topographical map. Not a highway map, but a topo map that shows green shaded relief areas that might be public land. Then study it for roads or trails that might get you in close. When you find a stream you might want to fish, study it for deep bends because that's usually where the deeper holes are and they're more likely to hold fish. Be prepared to walk and you're also going to need a good pair of hip waders, not only for crossing the swamps and streams, but they'll also protect you against briars, bugs, and an occasional snake. Remember the areas that are easy to get to are usually the most heavily fished. I prefer to get off the beaten trails. Google Earth or another good map with a satellite view is very helpful. Once I get to the streams and find the pools, I start out by fan casting search baits like shad darts or stingers. If I don't find fish, I just move on to another pool or try above or below a shoal. Once I find a pocket of fish though, I'll sometimes switch over to a more focused lure like a floating fly. Sometimes I strike out, but usually I can find a fish or two. In this case, lots of white perch and occasional hickory shad. You know, finding a new and productive fishing spot that you have all to yourself can be very satisfying, and I use these same techniques no matter where I'm fishing anywhere in the world. Now, let's go fishing. Mm -hmm.